Today we are taking a look at the hill that has produced top Olympians such as Lindsey Vaughn, Christina Kosnick, and more recently Paula Maltzen. And of course we're talking about Buck Hill. So let's jump on over to the desk so you can ski along. Well, our next guest has taken his love of skiing and created a successful YouTube channel, a website, a vlog, a documentary for people that are looking for great places to ski here in the upper Midwest. Matthew, Z Matthew Zabransky is the creator of MidwestSkiers.com. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, and thank you for, uh, for having me. I love chatting skiing and especially Midwest skiing. I want to thank um, our director, Mark, because he was the one who found your YouTube channel, was really, really in, loved it, and uh, told me to have you on the show. Okay, so you grew up in Chicago. Yeah. Your parents took you, took you and drove you to ski resorts all over. A lot of people don't think of Midwest as being this great ski mecca, but there's so much variety, right? It's crazy, um, and that's actually why I started this project. So I grew up south side of Chicago, so we would go to southern Wisconsin, drive a few hours, and the hills there are very similar to the hills here. They're not very big in, in the sense of vertical. But, uh, you know, as I moved around for my wife's career, I realized really quickly, we moved throughout the Midwest, that there's so many of these little hills and they're all like unique and different and they vibe so different than any other resorts out west or east. So I started doing a little bit of research and found out there was nothing, no media content, nothing around these small hills. So, you know, I didn't really know much about what I was going to do, but I had a background in film and photography, so I bought a camera and emailed about 50 ski resorts, and that's kind of how it started. Yeah, and your, your video is really beautiful on your YouTube channel. You. You've got some great drone video. You really kind of go from place to place. You tell people where to go. I noticed that was Buck Hill, but you also went up to Lutzen on a powder day, <laughs> and if, if folks decide to, to make uh, the drive up there, the tell out. people what they can see. What's new up there that maybe they don't know about? Yeah, Lutzen is, uh, first of all, Lutzen is by far, I would say, one of the, the most beautiful uh, ski areas, not only just in the Midwest, but oh, in the country. You're skiing basically looking at Lake Superior constantly. It's, it's a beautiful setting, so I always recommend going up there. Uh, but we have seen such a boom uh, the past couple of years of reinvesting in the ski industry. Actually, Minnesota Ski Resorts last season spent over $20 million uh, reinvesting in their hills, and that you know comes in the form of snowmaking, lifts, um, chalet updates everywhere. And sometimes you can see them, and sometimes they're in the ground in pipe. But uh, yeah, it's been really cool to see all these new changes. Next year, we have a, a couple of new lifts planned, one at Wild Mountain, one at Lutzen, and um, one coming at Buck Hill as well. So these are more high-speed lifts, get people up the hill better, yeah. bigger lifts, you know, better technology. I've also noticed, because I'm a ski mom, both my kids ski race, and I've been to all these places, I've also noticed that in most places, the chalets are also getting a little bit nicer. You've got better food, you've got a bar, you've got gathering places with couches and fireplaces. Oh, yeah. Wild Mountain in particular, um, as a note. Um, so what are you seeing in, with that? Yeah, it's, it's becoming more about the, the full experience, too, and they understand that. You know, the Midwest is small, and we understand that the skiing is not the best, right? Uh, but it's more about the community. It's more about the social element. And so you've been seeing a lot of reinvesting in, in those type of elements. So the chalets, the bars, the restaurants. And we're always shocked. We go to Buck 54, my wife and I, all the time just for the food, just because it's that good. Like, it's crazy, but yeah. Yeah, so if people go to your vlog, what will they find in your YouTube page? What kind of things? Do you update it each week, or how does yeah, it work? Yeah, so I think my favorite thing that we have is we have a guide on our website, and it has every single ski resort in the Midwest. There's 130. Wow. And we update them with um, updates on when they're open, how many runs they have open, things like that. That's my favorite thing because people don't realize how many small hills are right next to them. Um, so I would recommend checking out that. And if you go over to the YouTube channel, you'll kind of find content that will then give you more information about those hills. Yeah, and how you can go and check out maybe something you've never checked out before, but you'll be able to see it there before you go there. And, and for folks, uh, sometimes it's, it's cost prohibitive. So you talk about how you can you know, get some deals too along the way, right? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, everyone asks, like, what's my favorite ski resort? And I don't have one uh, in the Midwest. But this year, I think my, my favorite one that I went to was Mount Como. And you might not even know of this. But at I don't. Como Park, they have a, uh, t two double rope toes there. And for $15, you can ski. And they offer free lessons and, and rentals as well. And this is just an example of just one of several places just like this, Community Hills, that you can go out, learn to ski for maybe like next to nothing mm -hmm. um, and just try it out. Yeah, and if you ever want to see some great slalom races, I mean, you've got Buck Hill and, of course, you know, Wild Mountain. There's so many great races going on almost every single weeknight as well, so you can go ahead and check out the kids and see how they're doing, or even if they're practicing, right? Oh, it's crazy. Uh, you know, that's another comment I hear a lot is there's not, you know, n no good skiing coming out of the Midwest, and I would... 
I mean, we know Lindsey Vaughn, Christina Kosnick, and now Paula Maltzen, who's, you know, great racers, but even on the freestyle. If you go to Highland and just watch some of these kids for it's an hour. Oh, it's and Paula making, of course, the podium uh, along with yeah. Michaela the other day. It was pretty remarkable. Was awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks for coming on. We're going to push everyone to your website absolutely. and also to your YouTube channel. And if you want to check it out, the documentary is on there, too. And what's the documentary called? Um, the one that we did last year, it was, uh, with, it was produced by TGR, and it's called In Pursuit of Soul 2. And okay. it just highlights Midwest Hills. I love that. All right. Well, thank you for coming on, and we appreciate all your work. Thank you so much. Thank you, Matthew. We have a link uh, to Midwest Skiers' website and the YouTube channel and also the Facebook page on carolevin.com.